What's up guys, my name is Wilson, also known as Designed by Will, and in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this metallic grunge effect in Photoshop. It's great for titles, maybe logo concepts, and even random files you just want to make look cool, random layers. It's a fairly simple process if you know Photoshop, but I will be taking this one slow so anybody can learn. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First we're going to be making a new file, 3000 by 3000. Uh, let's name this Grunge Layer 1. Beautiful. First step is to import our text. Um, this works better with uh, Black Letter Font. If you know Black Letter Font, it's like that medieval font that everyone uses. Actually, let's just keep it. Lithorian Ipsum. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Let's get straight into it. Beautiful. Now the most important step is to have a grunge pattern. The grunge pattern is what we're going to be using to apply the, the filters on to make it look like it's a grunge metallic effect. So to apply your grunge pattern, all you're going to have to do is open another file. Yes, we're opening another file. Any size, doesn't really matter. Um, go find yourself a grunge layer. I went to Unsplash and just typed in grunge and I found this one. Um, just make it full screen. Press enter. Go to edit. Scroll down to define pattern. And I've already saved this as a pattern, but just for the sake of it, I'm going to save it again. Uh, do you? Beautiful. And that's it. You have your pattern defined. Now we can proceed to the next steps. Save. So let's take form. Go to your layer, right click, and then click blending options. From here, you're going to have all your options. Uh, click bevel and emboss. It's already set up for mine, but for the sake of it, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Your one will look something like, if I'm correct. Yours is going to look something like this when you first open it. Now we don't want this. We want it to have that sharp edge uh, metallic effect. Like it's carved from stone basically. So the first thing to do is go to your style and click in a bevel because it's going to be chiseling it from the inside. Go to technique and press chisel hard. There we go. You can already see it taking font, taking shape. I mean, Click down and select the size to 250. So all the way to the max. Make it look as sharp as possible. Um, go to your angles and just copy these um, angles because this is the exact same. So negative 103 and then 42. Go to gloss, gloss contour and collect the swiggly line one. It makes it more sharp. Adds a little bit more layers and a little bit more shadows. Defines it a little bit more. Make, your, make sure your highlight mode is on screen and your shadow mode is on multiply black and white. Very simple, very simple. Next, we're going to go to contour. And we're just going to apply the first one. It should already be on here. And then make the range 50%. And you should have this. Beautiful. So I just wait for everyone to catch up. There we go. So the next step is to go to, so the next step is to go to inner shadows. Mine is already set to this. So you're going to want to set it to uh, some sort of navy blue or some sort of dark color. For the sake of it, I'm going to change mine to like dark green, forest green. Beautiful. Set it to overlay and just copy these settings. Negative 40 on the angle, distance zero, choke hold 100, size 102. Go to contour and select. Um, go to contour and select um, cove, cove deep. There we go. And select the noise to a hundred percent. You want all that noise because you want to make it as grunge as possible. 
then you want to go to inner glow and just keep the settings the same so opacity on 40 noise on zero set the blend mode to lighten and then for the elements click softer edge chokehold 56 size 17 and then for the range you want to go to the console the first one obviously range 100 jitter zero now we're going to go to our color overlay and we're just going to set it to white color 100 percent uh, we're going to go to gradient overlay and we're going to be creating this sort of gradient if you don't know how to make a gradient already it's pretty easy i did explain it in my last video of making a gradient heat map and just follow the steps but instead of making it all the different colors of the rainbow just make it blue and then blend it into um opacity zero so you're just going to blend it into zero so the most important step is going to your pattern since we defined our pattern in the first step all you're going to have to do is just click the certain pattern that you want i have all these that i have selected and you can find patterns on photoshop or you can find patterns online for free pinterest um unsplash possibly my, my 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 personal favorite because it's free to use and the images are licensed i guess so you just want to click the grunge effect that you want this already sets the grunge effect and yours is going to be set blend to normal but what you're going to have to do is go down and select to a linear light and keep the angle the same and scale it to 208 you can scale it down to get the certain effect that you want, but I like the two effect because I want people to see those splatters. And then you're gonna go to outer glow and just select a certain outer glow, just set the blend mode to overlay, opacity on 30, size on 146 and spread on 13. And you're gonna get this little glowing effect once you add a different colored background. Since it's white, you can't really see it. And yeah, that's how easy it is to make this um, style. Now to save it as a defined style, all you're gonna have to click is new style and you're gonna have to name your style and you wanna include layer effects and include layer blending options. Add to my current library. Um, just name it. I already have mine saved, but for the sake of it, I'm gonna save it again. Grunge 01, beautiful. So now that we have it saved, this effect is gonna be pretty easy to apply to anything you want. So for instance, we got my personal logo here. And we're just gonna change the color to a lighter color. The way we're going to do that is going to blending options and select the color overlay. Uh, we'll set this color to yellow, normal. I would just rasterize the layer. Simple, simple. Now we have my logo here, and I'm going to show you guys how to apply it, the new style that you guys have created. First, you want to go to Windows, click Styles. And you'll see the styles that you have here. I got a bunch that I installed from previous programs and people that have sent to me. So I have a little bit more than you would have, but it's pretty easy to make styles. Then you just want to click the style that you made and bam, it applies it automatically. Now this is going to look a little weird because my logo is a little bit weird. Um, you can always go in and change the, the hardness of the beveling and bus to make it look a little bit more smooth. But at, at the end of the day, if you want that grunge effect, you want it to look as rough as possible. And this is as rough it's gonna get. Now let me show you how to apply it to your text. So import your new text. Follow me on Insta. Make sure to go down in the description and follow me on my Instagram at Design by Will for more inspiration and my personal posts and personal projects. Beautiful. Um, I got all types of fonts that I've downloaded. 
our girl Foss scratch this is the font I'm gonna be using I didn't pronounce it right but who cares because I don't anyway make sure it's full screen and one thing that um, people forget to notice is that you want your font color to originally be a lighter color because all the effects that you're adding are just adding shadows so if you if you make your font black and you're adding shadows to black you're not going to get any depth so you're basically doing nothing there we go and I it's exactly the same process so let me close this for you go to windows styles and just click your desired style and now you have your grunge metallic effect in Photoshop there we go now this works better with darker backgrounds because you can see the highlights and the dark spots of the font so like if you make it black you can really get to see all the effects there I want to show you guys a recent project that I used it in beautiful it was a concept cover for Kanye West life of Pablo and you can see that I used the effect on this title here same font just a little bit more layer styles and a little bit of more textures that you can find on my website I do have my texture assets listed down there and a bunch of more assets and yeah that's it guys Thank you for watching. See you when I make a new video. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Design by Will. Check out my website for dope assets and other things for your graphic design needs. And I'll see you when I see you.